Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, One Book or Novel at a Time. I will continue to read to you Goosebumps Most Wanted, Book 1, Planet of the Long Gnomes. And with that, I will begin to read to you Chapter 21. And it starts like this. Elliot! Elliot! I repeated his name. What happened? Are you okay? Can you hear me? He opened his eyes. A smile spread over his face. Just joking, he said. He sat up. Ha ha, you look totally freaked. I swallowed. My mouth was dry as cotton. No way, I lied. I knew you were faking. I knew it was a dumb joke. Elliot laughed some more. He climbed slowly to his feet. He looked kind of dizzy to me. His eyes were darting from side to side. Was it really a joke? Or did the flash of light knock him out somehow? Weird. Cool invention, Elliot said. He picked up the light stick and studied it. He raised it a few feet from his face and blew gently on it. No! It only works once, I told him. It burns off the chemicals, so it won't light anymore. He set it down on the table. It's still totally cool. You make a lot of inventions like this. Well, yeah, I said. Mostly, I just mix chemicals together to see what will happen. He pushed back his hair and turned to the window. A beam of yellow sunlight poured onto the bedroom floor. Jay, want to go outside? Yeah, I said. I led the way downstairs, just going out for a walk. I called to my parents. We stepped out the front floor. I felt a shiver of fear roll down my back. I searched the front yard for lawn gnomes. But... I didn't see any. Across the street, McClatchy stood on a tall ladder with hedge clippers in his hands. He was busy trimming the tall hedge and didn't see us as we walked past on the street. I felt angry all over again. I pictured him kicking Mr. Phineas. I felt bad that I didn't get my revenge last night. Elliot and I turned the corner and kept walking. The sunlight felt good on my face. The warm air smelled fresh. I started to calm down. Elliot kicked a stone to the curve. I kind of heard what you were talking about with your dad, he said. I kept my eyes straight ahead. Really? Yeah, he sounded pretty steamed. He can get a little stressed sometimes, I said. He's been on my case a lot lately. Elliot stopped walking. We stood in the shade of a fat old tree. The tree limbs trembled above us in the wind, making the sunlight shimmer. Why has he been on your case? Elliot asked. Do you want to tell me about it? I swallowed. Mm -hmm. Well... I didn't want to talk about it. I never talked about it with anyone. Elliot's eyes locked on mine. He was waiting for my answer. And suddenly, the words just blurted out of me. I burned down our house. Whoa. And that is the end of chapter 21. Chapter 22. Elliot's mouth dropped open. He started to talk, but couldn't get the words out. I led the way over to the white tree trunk and sat down on the grass. The grass was still wet from the morning dew, but I didn't care. I decided to tell Elliot the whole story, the whole ugly story. He sat down beside me, rested his back against the rough tree bark and crossed his legs in front of him. You're serious? He said finally. You really burned down your house? I nodded. No joke. Jay, 
That's horrible. How did it happen? I took a deep breath. My friend and I were in my room, just messing around. I had a lab table in my old room too, and lots of chemicals and stuff. I've been interested in chemistry since I was eight, four years now. My chest felt fluttery. I could picture everything that happened so clearly. I had just started working on the light stick, the thing I just showed you, I said. I wanted to show it off to my friend, but I didn't have it quite right yet. I mean, I didn't have the chemicals right. But I held it up and blew on it really hard, and it exploded. I mean, it made a huge blast, like a bomb or something. A big flame shot out of it, and, and, I had to stop to catch my breath. Even though we were in the shade, sweat poured down my face. My chest felt like a bird was fluttering its wings inside it. The flame shot out onto my lap table? I continued. It, um, it set some chemicals on fire. The chemicals flamed up with a roar, an incredible roar. The flames caught my bedroom curtains. And, and my whole room was burning. My friend and I were coughing and choking on the black smoke. It was everywhere, all around us. We covered our faces with our shirt, sleeves, and we, we just ran out of the house. It burned. The whole house. It just burned. It just burned black. My friend and I, we were okay. We weren't burnt or anything, but I was in shock. I mean, really in shock. I just couldn't believe that I'd done anything so horrible. But there was our house. It's still smoking, the wood crackling, just a big black pile, a big black pile. My voice trembled. I pictured our house, everything we owned, burned, wrecked, ashes. That's the story, I said finally. That's what happened. I haven't told it to anyone till now. He stared at me. He didn't reply. He scratched the side of his face. I could see he was thinking hard. That's horrible, he said finally in a soft whisper. Just horrible, Jay. I, I don't know what to say. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Oh, wait, I said. It gets worse, a lot worse. And that is the end of chapter 22. Wow, what a story, right? Well, with that, I will end this chapter. Thank you for tuning in to One Book or Novel at a Time. Remember, everybody's a reader. Some of you haven't found the right book or right series. What if Goosebumps Most Wanted is that right series? Or what if this is the right book for you? All right? Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in to One Book or Novel at a Time. Have an awesome day.